Are you ready? Okay, let's start with one minute. We got running in place. Hey, Gabe. Hi, Jacob. Start easy. Maybe not lifting your knees so high. Just take it easy. Thirty more seconds. Keep moving, keep moving. That's it. Pick those knees up, Jacob. Ten seconds to leg lifts or knee lifts. So they're getting the heart rate up. Okay, and lift. That's it, back straight. That's it, good job players. 30 more seconds. So you're lifting up, using a little bit of your core. So you're not doing this. Back is staying straight. And you're using your lower muscles to help lift that leg to parallel. Parallel to the ground, 10 seconds. Five seconds. Now this next one we haven't done before. Elbow to knee, cross your body. One minute. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Feel it in your hips. So my elbow's touching my knee and then touching my other knee. I got one minute of this. Go across. That's it. A nice little twist in the spine. Half a minute. Keep it moving. Cross, cross. Back is straight, 15 seconds. And then we got jumping jacks. We'll start, some of you might start with half jacks. Unless full jack is easy right off the bat. Fully stretching. Arms up, okay, and let's go. So either half jacks or full. Keep moving, that's it, keep going. Anton, stretch those arms. Touch your top, hands on top, so stretch. Get a full range of motion through the arms. Keep moving. 30 seconds. Out and in, full extension of the arms. Out with the legs and in. That's it. Ah, now you're big. I can really see you now. All right, five seconds. And stop, shake your legs out. All right, find something to grab onto or find a focal point. Quad stretch. Either hold on to something, maybe you have to touch your nose with the opposite, uh, same arm that you're standing on. Might be better if you're holding on to something. I wish I had something to hold on to or I'm finding a focal point. Pulling the knee behind your standing leg. Good, shake that leg out. Now the other side, focal point or grab onto something or touch your nose.
Bringing that knee slightly behind your standing leg. Feel the stretch in your quad. Just about everybody on this call, I think, skated today with me. Your quads might be a little tight. Shake it out. Now, again, find a focal point. Bring your knee up, stretch your hip. Belly button in. You can even rotate your ankle a little bit. If you can do it, you can try that. Good. Stop, change your leg. Shift your weight to the other side. Again, find your focal point. Pull your belly button in, clasp your hands, pick up your leg. Grabbing onto the shin of the opposite foot or opposite leg. Again, if you want to turn that ankle around, if you can do it. Whoa. All right, shake those legs out. One more. Figure four. Hands on your hips to start. Pick one leg up. Take your ankle and cross it on top of the other thigh. Again, if you have something to hang on, hang on to it. You can reach down, finding something to look at for balance, pulling your belly button in. That helps to activate your core to make you more stable and balanced. Feel the stretch in your bottom. Good. That's it. Looking good. And then up, shake it out. Other side, shift, look, find that spot if you're only, if you're holding yourself up. And again, those of you that skated today, the hips get tight. All right, shake it out. All right, first drill. Dynamic squats. We have two sets of 10, and then we've got short squat holds with a jump. Okay, so we're starting with the dynamic squat. So, dynamic squat is this one where we go out and down, arms go out, and our bottoms go back. Okay, so get ready. Bring your feet so they're about this far apart. And come on down, all the way down. Go ahead, Anton, let's see it. And come up. Down and up. We're not jumping, we're just, dynamic means we're just moving in space, we're not holding it. Three, come on down, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, shake it out. We're just doing two of those. All right, again, organize your feet. A little wider than your hips. Get ready and come on down. Down and up. One, down. Two, pushing through your heels. Hips back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's it, nine, ten, shake it out. Now the next one's gonna be a little bit more difficult. You're gonna come down and hold for 10 seconds. And then you're gonna jump up as high as you can and hold for another 10 seconds. We have five like that, two sets. So it's 10 seconds to a jump, come down and hold for 10 seconds. Another jump, five times, got it? You ready? And come on down. It's only 10 seconds, it's not that hard. It's gonna get tough after probably the fourth one. Okay, get ready and big jump and down. Hold 10 seconds. Stay there. Good job. 
Get ready and jump and hold. 10 seconds. Hold, arms out. Jacob, get ready and jump. 10 seconds. Hold. You got it. I think we have one more after this. And get ready, jump and hold. Whoa. 10 second hold, chest up. Five more seconds. One more jump and big jump. And shake it out. Okay, let's give ourselves just a 10 second rest. All right, get ready. I'll give you a little extra so I, my watch catches up to us. Five seconds, hold for 10 and then big jump. Ready and down, hold. Chest up, uncomfortable in the back. Five seconds to a big jump and jump and come on down, hold. Chest stays up, stay up. Five seconds, get ready, big jump, that's two, keep going, stay down, stay down, you can do it, three, two, one, big jump, three, hold, come on, you got it, chest up, five seconds, get ready and jump. <laughs> One last one. Chest up, five seconds, stay there. And big jump, and let's hold. Hold for 10, hold for 10. This last one, you can do it. Five seconds, three, two, one. Shake it out, Whew. Shake, shake, shake. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that was tough. That's really tough. All right. All right, let's just do a simple side, simple side lunge. We're just gonna do five and five, two times, okay? So bring your feet together, hands on your hips. And we step to the side, feel the stretch, big push, and then back over here again. Stay to the same side, big push. We're doing this one mostly just to stretch. Three, four, five. I don't know if I think I'm off one. Do one more and another five. <laughs> All right, let's go to the second side, get ready. And that's one, push, two, push on your heel, three, big push, four, big push, five, big push. All right, back to the first side for five. Ready? Step to the side, step together. Step to the side push. Really push through that heel. You're going to get that power. You're going to feel it all through your whole leg. Three. Hold your body up. Sometimes it's easier to have your hands on your hips. If you notice, that's how I usually do it. One more. I might be off again because I'm talking. Okay. Other side. Step. And big push. One. Step. Two. Step, big push, three. That's it, players. Four, five, shake it out. Okay. So the next drill is stepping forward in the forward lunge and then coming into the middle and stepping into the backward lunge. So the first one, we're gonna stop in the middle so we have our balance. 
and then step forward again, okay? So get ready, one side. Take this out of my ear. Okay, get ready and step forward. Press up, feet together, step backward, body stays up, step together. Step forward, push, step backward, and together. We only have five of these on each side. Three, together, three, back. Four, together, four, together. Five, forward, five, back. Good. Let's do the other side. Going forward first. Back, stay straight. And step forward, push through your heel. Step back, come together. Good. Try not to touch your knee players. You're just hovering your heel, no, hovering your knee. Together, step back, feet together. Step forward, push on your heel. Step back, come together. Step forward, push on your heel. This is number four. Step back, come together. Five. And five. Good, shake it out. And we're gonna do five more, but this time we're gonna work on our balance. So this next one, just watch really quickly. You're gonna step forward, push, whoop, and then you're going right back. And you're going forward and back. It's like a split lunge, okay? So get ready, hang on. Hands on your hips, get ready to go forward with the same foot. Forward and back, go forward, push on your heel, step back. That's one. Forward, push, back, two. Forward, push, back, three. Find your focal point. That's gonna help you put your eyes on something that's gonna help your balance. Four, five, five. We got five more. I'm sorry I didn't tell you that. Six, six. Step forward, seven, seven. Good job. Eight, eight, wish I could see you, Killian. Nine, nine, ten, push, ten, together. Whoa, you probably really feel it in this leg. Holy cow. All right, other side. Other leg, get ready. And step forward. Push through your heel, right into the back one. Go forward, heel hits. Back one, toe hits, back stay straight. Three, forward, three, back. Notice how my hands are on my hips and how still my body is. Four, five, five. This leg's starting to really heat up. Six, six, my belly's pulled in, seven, Seven, eight, forward, eight, back, nine, forward, nine, back, ten, forward, push, ten, back, and shake it out. All right, players, go get a quick drink, okay? Get a quick drink. One minute break. I'm going to get one, too. All right, players. Can you still hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. Next up, we're heading down to our mats. 
of our core and ab work. And then a little stretch. Okay, so grab your mats if you have one. Okay. All right, we're going to work on our core. Today we're going to be doing three on our elbows and then three in regular plank position. Okay. So we're going to do three 20 second ones on our elbows and three 10 second ones in the full position. Okay. So starting on your bellies. Rolling your toes under. Elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Clasp your hands. Get ready to pull your belly buttons in. We're going to start in five seconds. Get ready and lift up. We got 20 seconds like this. Push your heels back. Keep your back as flat as you can. So no butts in the air. Belly buttons pulled in. You're looking straight down. You don't need to look at me. You just need to. Settle in, pull that belly button up. You have five seconds. And rest. So have two more like that. So you do a little stretch on your back. I don't know how that feels, a little bit of a sphinx pose. All right, 10 seconds to another 20 seconds. All right, roll those toes under. And lift up, press those hips back. So really press your hips back, feel the stretch in your calves. Looking straight down, the triangle in between your elbows. Five seconds. And relax. Relax, and we got one more. You got a 10 second rest. We'll stretch that back out a little bit. Five more seconds for the third one. Get ready, roll those toes under, clasp your hands, come up, press your heels back, settle in, let your head relax so it stays in line with your spine, and you're just looking down at your mat or the floor in between your arms. Five seconds. And rest. Now go ahead and give yourself a counter stretch of child pose. So push your hips back, stretch those arms out. Now we're gonna move into the full plank. Okay, so we're gonna try to get into our very best push-up position. So get ready, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, grab the ground. We're gonna come into downward dog just briefly. So push your hips up and back. You can kind of stretch out your calves a little bit. Now get ready, we're gonna have 10 seconds. So come out like you're gonna do a push-up. Come into your perfect plank. Lift those hips up, Anton, you got 10 seconds. Pull your shoulder blades together so there's a little bend in your elbow. You're looking straight down at your mat for another three, two, one. Come up, come down. Maybe give your wrists a little twist, a little rotation. I think 10 seconds is kind of easy. I think we should try to do 15 seconds. How's that? Let's do 15 for the next two. I think that was easy. Okay, come back into table. Spread those fingertips out. Grab the ground. Roll your toes under. Shoot those hips up and back. So you go back into that downward dog. Let your head hang. And then get ready. Psych yourself up for 15 seconds. Come out into that push-up position so your shoulders are over your wrists. Pushing back on your heels. You have 15 seconds. You can do it. Look straight down. Belly button is, your belly's not sagging. You're pulling your belly button towards your spine. You only have another five seconds. Little bend in your elbows. 
and break and come back again. Rotate those wrists. I'm thinking that's really easy. I think we should try 20 seconds. What do you think? 20 seconds? Okay, let's go for 20 seconds. I think it's easy. I think you can do it. All right, put your hands down. Let's go, 20 seconds. There's a big 30. spider on mine. All right, get ready. Roll those toes under, you ready? Killian? 30. 30 seconds, okay, we're going for 30. Killian's killing it. That's awesome, I love the attitude. Let's go for 30. If you have to stop, I'll tell you, I'll tell you 15, I'll tell you 20. And then if you wanna to go to 30, we'll go to 30. Okay, get ready, got 10 seconds. So come up, come through mountain pose, or downward dog, sorry, downward dog. Get ready and you're in, hold. Pushing those hips, pushing those hips back. Keep looking straight down, you're at 10 seconds. Pull that belly button up, great job. You're at 15 seconds. Keep pulling that belly button up, 20 seconds. This is getting, I think you guys are getting stronger and stronger. This looks so easy for you. Guess what? We are at 30 seconds. Uh-oh, what? we're still going. What's happening? 40 seconds. Let's do one, let's do up to 45. Get ready. Three, two, one, and give it a break. Good job. Wow. That was way beyond expectations. Nice job. Nice job, players. All right. We're going to go back into the elbow plank. We're going to do something new today. And it's for the sides of our muscles here. So just watch me first. You're going to go side and a tap your hip. Side and up. Okay, so we're going to do five on each side. So come up into your plank. We're just going to do two sets of these. So come up in your elbow plank. Get ready and touch one hip. Come back up. Touch the other hip. Come back up. That's one. Two. Two. This is hard. Three. Look straight down. Three, you're just touching opposite hips. Four, four, five, five, and rest. Woo. Oh, yeah, that was tough. That was tough for me. Nice, nice, Anton. All right, let's do one more like that. Then we're gonna do, we're gonna get on our backs and do a little sit up, a couple sit ups couple sets of sit-ups, I should say. All right, one more time, you can do it. Elbows underneath your shoulders, clasp your hands. Come into your plank. Pushing back on your, pushing your heels back. Get ready, one hip goes down, back to the center. Other hip, back to the center. Two, center, two, center. Three, center, three, Center, four, center, four, center, last one, five, center, five, center, oi, that is tough, holy cow, give yourself a break. Okay, all right, players. Come on to your backs. So we're gonna start with our feet down. We've been doing this one quite a bit, where we're just gonna slide our fingertips up as we take our shoulder blades off the ground, okay? We're gonna do two sets of 10. So place your hands on your thighs, push your heels down, let that belly button dive down, take a breath in, exhale, Slide your fingertips up, pause, and come back down. That's one, two, slide down, three, your shoulders are just coming off just a little bit, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Bring your knees into your chest. All right, another time. One more time like that. Put those feet back down again. Hands on your thighs. Belly button push down toward the mat or the floor. Get ready, take a breath in. Exhale, slide those fingertips up, pause. Inhale, lower. Two, and exhale as you're lifting. Three, chin off your chest. Four, five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and 10, and relax, bring your knees in. You can twist to one side if you need to, I need to kind of crack my back a little bit. Stretch out. All right, now this is one we have not done, so watch me first. So my hands are down, my feet are up, my belly button's diving down, I'm gonna lift up my lower back and my hips off the mat. We're gonna do 10 like that. So get ready, belly button in and lift up and down. Two and down. Three, your legs are straight, I'm just going straight up with my legs, four, Five, they come a little bit back toward my head. Six, but well, my legs are straight if you notice. Seven, eight, this is for the lower abdominals. Nine, 10, and bring your knees in. We're gonna do one more like that. And we're gonna do our full sit up. So take some deep breaths. All right, get those legs up again. And if it's hard to have those legs up, it's kind of because your, your hamstrings might be a little bit tight. So see if how straight you can get your legs. Hands down to your side so you have something to press against. So palms down, get ready, belly buttons down, and lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going. Eight nine and 10, bring it down. Just two more sets, then we stretch a bit. You're almost done, players, good job. All right, for this one, we do the up. Well, how do we do that, right? It's like this. Okay, so we start with our hands down by our sides and we lift them up over our head. We got 10 like that, get ready. Press your feet down and lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. We have one more like that. Doing a good job. I'm sweating, so I'm hoping you are too. All right, get ready. Last 10 of the abs. Get ready, arms are to your sides and you lift them over your head. Press your feet down, come up one, two, three. Let that belly button dive down every time you lift up. Five, just five more, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. All right, bring one knee into your chest. So clasp your hands underneath your kneecap on your shin, stretch the other leg out. So you're gonna stretch the hip out of the straight leg and the hamstring. And then you're also stretching the hip of the other leg and the other way with 
of the thigh that you're bringing into your into your chest. And then take that same leg that's bent right now and bring it across your straight leg. So you twist and look the opposite way away from your knee. So your knee is one way and you're looking the opposite. A little twist in your spine. And then come back to the middle, switch your legs out. So stretch the other leg out, clasp your hands on the shin of the opposite leg, giving, pulling that knee into your chest, straightening out the leg that's long, feeling the hip flexors on both, stretched in different ways. That's right in your hip, right where your leg meets your hip. And then take that knee across, so take that knee across your body and then look the other way. So you're looking in the opposite direction of your knee. Okay, and bring that leg back up. Bring your knee back in. Go ahead and sit yourself back up. All right, let's bring one leg in like this. Coach. Yeah? I have a question. Um, sure. I want you to tell me if you can see me fine right now. No, I can't see you at all. Can you see me okay? I can see you fine. Okay, the lights were yeah, you're, you're a little bit more of a shadow, but I can still see your body. Yeah, because lights, I have lights above me, so when I do like the down. Oh, and that's, on, it, that's horrible. I hate that when it's in your eyes. I get it. All yeah. right, bring one leg out. Turn your body toward that leg that's straight. Slide your fingertips. Just hold. So feel that stretch in your hamstring of that one leg. Toes are pointing up. Probably feel it. I feel it in my back right now for some reason. And then come back up and switch to the other side. So look how I bring one leg in. My foot rests against the inside of my thigh and I turn my body to my, out, my outstretched leg and I reach my fingertips. Maybe you can grab your toes, I don't know. And then come up and then bring the soles of your feet together for a little bit of a butterfly. Just kind of, you can take your elbows. Press down a little bit. Go ahead and bring them in. Stretch your legs out. Cross one leg over. Can you do that? Cross one leg over. Give yourself a hug. And then look behind you and twist. And then come back in, bring that knee in, stretch it out, and take the other leg across. And then give yourself a hug, the opposite arm, and then turn and look the other way. And then bring your knee in, stretch the leg out. Come up onto your knees. I'm going to do one runner's lunge or one, uh, yeah, runner's lunge, I guess. Bring, bring that leg forward. It's also equestrian pose when we do yoga. Feeling your thigh stretch, your hip. And then press back. 
Take this toe, goes up toward the sky or the ceiling. In my case, the sky. Now you feel it in your hamstring. Good, and then switch out, other side. Runner's lunge. Big stretch here, stretch here. Trying to hold yourself up so you work on your core strength. Now push on your heel, push your hips back, straightening out this leg. You feel a big stretch in your hamstring. Not a huge fan of this myself. All right, and now we are done. Good job.